this was the part 79, and last episode we did some more Thieves Guild jobs and helped someone that they nobody could decide whether or not. Stop making noise! Everything! Nature! Stop! Wow, that's actually an awesome view. Um, yeah, we were helping out someone who's like, oh, she's a traitor. Oh, I'm being traitored! Just like, eh, whatever. I don't even care. Mr. Savageorn, you dropped your treat! What are you gawking at? Gawking. Don't you see I have problems here? What is wrong, my good me? sir? Look at this place. I'm supposed I don't to be get holding it. a tasting of the new hunting brew reserve for the captain of the guard. Cool. If he sees the meadery in this state, I'll be ruined. I might be able to uh, be oh, resisted. Really? And I don't suppose you just do it out of the kindness of your heart, would you? Oh, well, somebody would be nice. Expecting to get paid until the job's done. Of course. You better, I yell, skeever. That's the only way I operate. I operate, so forget it. Dang it! I just pay when the job's my done. I mean, demand is that these vermin are permanently eliminated before my reputation is completely destroyed. Yeah, I don't even really like this guy, but all right. I bought some poison. I was going to have my lazy, good-for-nothing assistant Malice handle it. Oh yeah, that one guy. If you plant this in the vermin's nest, it should stop them from ever coming back. All right, cool, cool. You got Don't come back until every one of those things are dead. So what do you say, rats? Now do you, you mean? Mess. What's wrong with it? Nah. Oh. Snap. <laughs> this mess. I don't see what the problem is. Just giant rats everywhere. Huh. I see. Me. Interesting. Yes. Quite. I mean, when you said a rat problem, I thought you meant like little guys, not huge honking venom fang. Dang, slow bam. So these are like worse than your ordinary rats. These suckers are dangerous. I mean, dude. They got special names. <laughs> nice cavern, by the way. Oh, what's up? Soldier. Right, right, right there. Are. Just leave it alone, guys. Oh, dang! Oh. You said I come back. You said there was a rat problem. A rat problem. Yeah, and there is a big rat problem. Well, within your rat problem was wrapped a frostbite spider problem. Lady, I don't do frostbite spiders. I don't do spiders in general. And while yes, I am perfectly aware that there is a giant and I believe the word copious might supply. Copious. You know what I mean. An incredibly large amount of spider scrolls hidden within my pouch. Those spiders are different. <laughs> Lydia. <laughs> like those spiders are quite on the contrary. Of other spiders, as they are friendly and awesome. I mean, dude, they explode. I thought that thing was like moving down for a second. I was like, Ugh. okay, for pity's sake, how did in the world did you get bear traps past those spiders? Like, did you? How in the world did you get that pat set up that past those spiders? Was that you yawning? I mean. Okay, maybe they like set this up forever ago and then spiders just kind of came past, but I mean, dude! I 
I'm still wondering how the spiders play into this. I, I'm sorry, I don't just let stuff like this go. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Question mark! Question mark! Where is it? There it is. Die! I mean, dude. What in the world? Yeah, you better explain yourself. Let's just take a gander. Ten years of ridicule, ten years of imprisonment, ten years of exile. The children threw rocks and the women spat upon me as men folk dragged me into my twin's prison. They branded me a danger to the pit of Felix's. Why am I reading this out loud? I don't know. Speed up while I read it quick. Huh. Dude is making a rat army. Hmm. Three thieves. Sweet. It's like, eh, interesting. You apply poison to the nest. Just pour it all on. <laughs> Go for it. I don't going to take much to poison the meat at all. So, dude, they had like a little covert operation down here. I took the hard route. Yeah, it appears I took the really hard route. <laughs> ah! Now that situation's done with. I can get up there. Wait, which one is it? Amber, I hit up all three. I mean, okay, it'd be suspicious. It would be suspicious if I only, like, if only one was wrong. We gotta get all three. So I should really go back and say, hey. Say closer. Throw a whole schemer in there. Actually, that would make sense, really, if, like, an entire skeever was in there. Like, somehow a skeever managed to open it. He smelled the mead, he jumped in, and then it closed on him, and he died. Can I do that? I, I, I should do that. Like, grab a whole skeever body, throw it in. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> kind of like, how do I get through? Oh. I'm gonna pretend that I wasn't there. Dude, there's an entire catacombs full of spiders and rats under your thing, but I killed them all, don't worry. Your eyes are so shut. Squirm. Dude, he's right there. Was something we discussed unclear? I it's about finished. Time. I had to stall the captain until you were finished. Huh. What about my pay? I have to wait until after the captain's finished. I suppose you can wait around if you must. I might not want to. Attend the tasting ceremony. Yes, I'll eat this entire block of cheese. Well, Sabjorn, now that you've taken care of your little pest problem, how about I get a taste of some of your mead? Help yourself, my lord. It's my finest brew yet. I call it Hunting Brew Reserve. I think you'll find it quite pleasing. I also like to point out the fact that I poisoned the oh, brew. Now. He already had some That's ready. Wine to be sipped and savored. By the eight. What? What's in this? I. I don't know. I was waiting for him to spat. go, You assured me this place was clean. I'll see. See to it that you remain in irons for the rest of your days. No, please. 
I don't understand. Silence, idiot. I should have known. I blame him to be a grinny. It's been riddled with filth. I beg you, please. This is not what it seems. Yes, sir. You, you're in charge here until I can sort this all out. Can't wait to see. It will be my pleasure. And you, you're <clears throat> coming with me to Dragon's Reach. We'll see how quickly your memory clears in the city's prisons. Now, move. Look, you. I assure you, this is all just a huge misunderstanding. I said, move. Farewell, Bjorn. I was gonna say, like, he just moves back to his position. The crap! Keep moving. Keep moving. Not taking your rizzle razzle. So! I don't think that could have gone any better. Yeah. Anything else you need before you head back to Riften? I need to get, like, a Sabjorn so, books. So, Maven wants to hunt down Sabjorn's private partner, huh? You're welcome mm -hmm. to take a look around Sabjorn's office. He keeps most of his papers stashed in his desk. All right. Here, this should help. Sweet. So, what are you gonna do with this place? I right, he never mentioned that lunatic living in tunnels. Leave some of the details out of our previous discussion. Didn't want to risk you walking away from the job. Besides, you've done Maven a favor getting rid of him, and saved me from wasting coin hiring someone else to do it later. So. Start changing it over. Never leave out details. West as soon as possible. That was Maven's part of the deal. She's okay. putting me in charge of keeping the mead flowing, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. If you're All in right. the area, and you ever need anything fenced, you just let me know. Sweet, I got another fence. Remember to put in a good word with Maven for me. Sure. And how is that guy? That guy was a slack jawed idiot, almost got me killed. That's kind of brutal. Yeah, it was. I mean, okay, if I ever became a thief for hire, and you know, really, and I ever, you know, like, okay, I'd, first off, I'd try to be an honest thief. Secondly, I would make it a policy where it's like, dude, don't leave out details on me. <laughs> Tell me everything. If there's some psychopathic wizard in the basement, you should tell me about it. Dude, that's a lot of boiled cream treats. I mean, I would love to hear about it. <laughs> Secret mead. Can I sleep in his bed? No. I just want to go, ha 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 ha. Watch, I slept in your bed. Why? I don't know. Because I felt like it. You can't stop me. Symbol. Within this enclosed crate, you'll find the final pairs. We discussed honey room you should now begin bringing me to full production. In regards to your concerns, why it feels Sharing it out the other thing to keep her assets in her current at base. We can have a long sense of the future for both of us. I didn't do anything wrong. I I wasn't even here to talk about you. Yeah. Good to know. But what do you mean good to know? It's good to know that you weren't here to talk to me. Have a good day. Walk away. <laughs> Please what? help me. I'm going to lose my job at the Ripton Fishery. Ah, uh, what's wrong? I don't want to lose my job at the fishery. What am I going to do? Hey, my job hey. At the Ripton Fishery is in danger. The owner, Bolly, said that if I show up for work in this condition one more time. I don't know what your condition is. I don't mean to do this to myself, but I can't help it. I tried some skooma a year ago, and ever since this is not something you go up to a random person and if talk you about. Give me a healing potion. I could cleanse this poison from my body and get back to my life. That's not how addiction works. Kind of Here, take this. It's all I can offer you for what you've given me. I'll do that sometime. <laughs> You should probably be in bed. You're looking a bit under the weather. I am? Oh, dang. Ataxia. Wait, hold on. Pick lo picking locks and picking pockets is 25% harder? Can't have that. That's like my entire purpose right now. There we go. All better. 
Who's like, dude? Dude, please, no! Please, I need septum. Septum Neil. Nah, I'll throw money at her sometime. Just not right now. <laughs> Give her like thousand. Take it and run! What just happened? <laughs> this poof explosion. I don't have any business with you, so get out of my face. Nice to meet you too, man. I trust you have good news for me. How in the world did you pop up here? I trust you have good news for me. Get this guy off me! I'm not gonna sit there. Yes, I have good news. Job's finished. Here's the information. Tell me much. The only thing that could identify Sabion's partner is this odd little symbol. Sorry. I've seen that symbol before. Well, whoever this mysterious marking represents, they'll regret starting a war with me. Yes. You should bring this information to the Thieves Guild immediately. Alright, cool. There's also the matter of your payment. I believe you'll find this more than adequate for your services. Last dagger of expelling. I believe we're done. Whatever. I still don't get why that guy like spawned on top of me. He's just like, stop my look down. Dude, don't got time for that rizzle razzle. That rizzle razzle. Yes, that rizzle razzle. Ain't got no time for it. Sup? Ain't no doubt about it. Thieves guild is back. Yeah. I'm part of that. Whee! Sneak to get under the back. Hmm, well, 50. Well, it's 51. Cool. Hello. Hello. What? A lot of people are beginning to get impressed with you here. Me included. Just wanted to let you know. Hey, thanks. I really appreciate that. I would be like the chummiest guy. Just be like, oh, hey, man, what's up, son? Nah, I don't talk like that. But I'd be all happy. Word on the street is that poor Sabjorn has found himself in White Run's prison. How unfortunate for him. Yeah, very fortunate for me, but. Exactly. Now you're beginning to see how our little system works. We totally ruin really people's lives that you to make ours better. Something else while you were out there. <laughs> something important to the guild? Ah, uh, yeah, and same symbol. Wait, hold on. If she told you, how do you guys? Know? How do you guys know before I got here? Yard. Someone's trying to take us down by driving a wedge between Maven and the guild. Hmm. Mercer thinks he knows a way to identify this new thorn in our side. He wants to meet with you right away. Right, and cool. if I were you, I'd hurry. I've never seen him this angry before. I'm gonna take my time, because I don't take no nonsense. Dude, don't hurt me. Scoundrels folly. Scoundrels folly. Don't take no nonsense. I take my time. Be happy I show up. I could be out killing dragons right now, saving all of Skyrim, but no! I'm here helping you guys be criminals. Dude, you look I've missed. Consulted my contacts regarding the information you recovered Dude. from the Golden Glow Estate, but no one can identify that symbol. Dude, I've consulted you look my like contacts severely mad. The information you recovered. It would seem our adversary is attempting to take us apart indirectly by angering Maven Black. No, seriously, like I can't get over. Very so I'm fixing my socket. I can't get over how angry he looks. You admire them? They're well funded. They've been able to avoid identification for years. I'm impressed it reached this point. Just don't mistake my admiration for complacency. Our nemesis is going to pay dearly. Who? Yeah, could kill him. Because even after all their posturing and planning, they've made a mistake. The parchment you recovered mentions a gajal lie. According to my sources, that's an old alias used by one of our contacts. Okay. His real name is Gullamai. So he's, he's a Argonian, isn't he? Gullamai is our inside man at the East Empire Company in Solitude. I'm betting he acted as a go-between for the sale of Golden Glow Estate and that he can finger our buyer. Hmm. Get out there, shake him down, and see what you come up with. Talk to Brynjolf before you leave if you have any questions. I have a feeling this guy's gonna be hard to find. Yeah, this time whenever they say an optional speak to someone to make a job easier, I'm probably gonna listen to him. 
I like hurrying. I like sprinting. Bring I can't believe Gollum is mixed up in all this. That Argonian couldn't find his tail with both hands. Don't you not find wrong. your tail? He could scam a beggar out of his last septum, but he's no mastermind. Trouble. <laughs> he's one of the most stubborn lizards I've ever met. Hmm. You have your work cut out for you. Hmm. You're going to have to buy him off. It's the only way to get his attention. I have tons if of money, so. Follow him and see what he's up to. If I know Gollum I, he's in way over his head, and you'll be able to use it as leverage. Alright. If he's betrayed us, I'll kill him. He's going to owe us for his betrayal. Betrayal not, I'll let him live. I'm glad to see you're embracing our methods. Ah, it would okay. be a waste to lose a contact at the East Empire Company before we had the entire story. I wonder if I hit the other option, we'd have been like, Yeah, I'll kill him! And he's bound to step into something he can't scrape off his boot. Okay. Good luck in Got solitude. It. Keep going really there. quick. Really quick, let's see if I can talk to him. Sorry, I want to get... Oh yeah, I forgot. I want to see if I can get what's her face to wear, Let's to wear um, thief skill stuff, for no other reason than because I feel like it. <laughs> Sup? Welcome to the cozy little. F Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Nope, she still don't got it. Oh well. All right, do I got anything I can sell her? Unless she wants a large amount of spider pods. Ability. Uh, you got that, you got that. You can have. Wow, that is worth a lot. Oh well. Mm -hmm. Money means nothing to me anymore. So we go. No, no. Unlike the last situation, where I was stuck with a robot. I'm stuck with you. I can eat her. What? Yeah. All right, scoundrels fall. Wow, across literally the entire planet. Wow, I haven't been there yet. Dude, let's go. So literally across the entire planet. The music here changed. Something suspicious about this place, I don't know what. <sighs> and whatever. All I know is I gotta get up there. Nah. Or you know, I could've just walked over here and call it good. Wow, that place is really, really precarious. Okay, it's not really precarious, but it kind of has that look about it. Like, if someone decided to use enough explosives, they can very easily destroy it. Yeah, I don't even care. I really don't. Because at this point, you have committed crimes against curses. I almost got away with that. Yeah. See, at this point, it's not really like me trying to steal for like any reason of money. You have committed oh, come on. Sky Give me a second. There we go. It's not like I'm really even trying to steal anything he has for like a logical reason. I swear that was at 300. Well, I'm confused now. Okay, that's weird. Yeah, it's not even for a logical reason. It's literally just for me to l to do it so I can get better and better at so I can do quests better and stuff. Now, what to get? Conjuration. I should actually really start boosting those just for the sake of um, Wrathman. I think my buddy is a 75. Good to know. Okay, so I'll start hammering at that once it's high enough level. 
speech needs to go up to uh, let's see better hit up this one and I can get things like this can capacity is increased by 100 this one's actually pretty fun this is always nice always nice can pickpocket equipped weapons and items Lily, you can like equip their you can pickpocket their armor I mean how fun is that hang on did he just no no we already got that done yeah like they can be wearing their helmet and you can pickpocket them from it welcome to you so the longer we travel the roads of Skyrim the more empty this land seems are those spikes or earrings I think they're hair you're wrong three separate times I know okay you're just in time to say hello to Rockbeard. He's who's Rockbeard? He's a bastard who's going to be executed. Why? The gate guard who let Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city after he killed the High King. Huh. Should I try to stop this? They can't hurt Uncle Rockbeard. Tell them he didn't do it. Stand back. Hang on. <laughs> Huh. I was just going to walk up and be like, hang on, hang on. Position. As far as you need to go home. Go home and stay there until your mother comes. That's my brother up there. Excuse me, I'm trying to watch a traitor to the Emperor lose his head. Hey, you should stand back. Interrupting an execution is a serious crime. Can we stop this? Interrupting an execution is a Rock serious there. crime. You helped Ulfric Stormcloak escape this after he murdered High King Toring. By opening that gate for Ulfric, you betrayed the people of Solitude. He doesn't deserve to speak! There was no murder. Ulfric no. challenged Toring. He beat the High King in fair combat. Such is our way. Such is the ancient custom. Oh, I get it. Alright. Ah, he is right. I'm not gonna watch. This ain't changing. Nah, whatever. On this day, I go to Sovngarde. Ah, I did watch. Hey, at least it was all one stroke. Sometimes it's more than one. And then everyone calmly walks away. You look like you could do with a ripe apple. Or a tomato. No, no, it's gonna say anything, just kinda, uh. Oh. Mmm, spice wine for ya? It's a family. Look at that, it's like, so is anything gonna happen? No. Okay, cool. Wander like you. Ah, uh, your face things. scares me. Some spiced wine? Not much Hello, better than I'm that. Easily, but you can just call me Erica's sister. Everyone does. I have no idea who's talking to me. So, what do we have here? Mr. Gonamai. I don't do this is how they were like property. <laughs> now if you're looking for goods, you've come to the right person. You don't seem to understand. Oh, wait. Did you say Golden Glow Estate? Your eyes My are getting apologies. a little wider. I'm sorry to say I know very little about that uh, bee farm, was it? Okay. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I can't be expected to remember every deal I handle. Oh, you are so dead. Let's see, give me the buyer's name or I'll kill you. Identify the buyer and we'll forget what we know. What would it take to identify the buyer? I don't care what you promise. If I tell you the buyer's name and word gets around, it can ruin me. I'll keep quiet. Oh, fine then. Well, now that you mention it, there is something I've been trying to get my hands on. I have a buyer like... for a case of Firebrand wine. It just so happens to be a single case in the Blue Palace. Bring okay. to me and we'll talk about Golden Glow Estate. Lydia, I want you to stay with this. Sorry, if I could command Lydia. Lydia, I want you to stay with this young man and make sure he stays here. I'll be right back. What? Yeah, you ain't. <laughs> hand on shoulder. You ain't leaving. What, what, what do you mean I'm not leaving? You're not leaving. You're staying right here. I can personally assure you that he will not take very long at all. 
So like 10 minutes later. Hey, the two guards. Dude, we just caught some cat that was trying to break into the Blue Palace. What an idiot. Yeah, he's in jail right now. He had a lot of nice stuff, though. It turned out to be the Dragonborn. He was using Fusero Dot, but we caught him. No problem. She's just in there. So exciting. You know... I... She seems like a nice lady. She's like, you know, I've been wrong before about his prowess at thievery. <laughs> Yeah, sorry. I'll go get him. All right, how much is it gonna cost? Ten dollars. Don't know if I can spare it, but all right. Dude, seriously. That was incredibly easy. Good day. Good day. Oh. Have crimes against Skyrim <laughs> and oh my goodness! Oops. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't even think. I was just like, cool. <laughs> you have committed crimes against Skyrim and the people. Just like. <sighs> nope. Not twice. What's up? Hands to yourself, sneak thief. Ouch! I am hurt. My emotions have been stabbed. My jimmies have been ruffled. Ah! Hi. Are you my gallant hero? Have you Hi. come to whisk me away to a life of adventure and romance? Well, now that you mention it, Namkin. Dude, who just says that? Just looks at you. Oh, are you my gallant hero? I just turned into a werewolf and killed 30 people. I regularly stab children. You don't even know who I am. Do you actually do those things? No! Why on earth would I do that? No! You should just go up to people and ask, Hey, you my gallant hero. That's just weird. And you're weird. And you should feel bad. It's like... What? No. Alright. So... Ah, I see you have the wine. And... Good. Can't have like the buyer getting so. your juice from looking elsewhere for this, can we? You should Here, talk. take this. Like I you should can't talk. use it. But I suppose I need to pay you something for the goods. You're trying to bribe me now? Not at all. I consider it an investment in prolonging my life. As monetary as value has state goes. I'll tell you what I The know. monetary value means almost nothing. I was to me. approached by a woman who wanted Okay, to soul gems are nice, but no. <laughs> She flashed a bag of gold in my face and said all I had to do was pay Erangoth for the estate. I brought in the coin and walked away with her copy of the deed. Huh. Not at all. I tend not to ask too many questions when I'm on the job. I'm sure you understand. However, I did notice she was quite angry and it was being directed at Mercer Frey. In no this name. business, we rarely deal in names. Our identity comes from how much coin we carry. Okay. I think you're lying well, to me. That's all I know. It's I never him promised blade. you I'd have all the answers. Now, since our transaction is done, I'll be on my way. Be seeing you. We drink. To our youth, to the days come and gone. For the age of aggression is just about. <laughs> what the? Sir, how convenient. What the? You can sell off that junk at bits and pieces. Dude, I just come by and the head is still rolling. I'm just like, you know, I'm not even sure how to respond. Okay. To prove to you that I'm a bad, bad dude, that I do bad, bad things. Observe.
No, 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 wait, this isn't a killing mission. This isn't a killing mission. But he's just standing there, doing his job. You know, whatever good citizens are known for doing. That is me. I just rocked him. I think I should have a quest marker or else this would be a lot harder. It's like, I'm a sneaky cat in the moonlight. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Is it even a full moon? Kind of. Alright, whatever. Use carriage. Pickpocket. I'm just walking. Don't mind me. I knew that area down there looked way too suspicious. Again, this guy's not very smart. Because if he just started looking around, even just a back casual backward glance, he would see me. But he wouldn't see that ninja roll. Or that one. Or that one. Or that one. Better stand back. It'd be easy for me to navigate these rocks. That thing a bird. See? Easy. Yep, here we are. East Empire Company Warehouse. Who's if I did Who's if I been detected by? Yeah. Just look at this place like, man, this place looks shady. I knew it! I knew this place looks shady. Got a password. That totally just happened. He's like, okay, I go up to the door, he's like, alright, now let's do this. He pops out, he's looking at me dead, yeah, I'm just like, Come to the water, swim under, he just, just looks over, must have been nothing, goes back, and goes back inside, he's like, what just happened? That was hilarious, and I can't believe I just got away with that either. Oh my goodness, that is funny. I'm just like, I don't know what to do. Whoop. Did he just jump in the water? Yeah, I believe he did. What an idiot. I know, right? <laughs> like, what an idiot. I oh, won't. Well. Damn it. It's a little bit. Little bit. Little. Ah, come on. Should have pickpocketed him. Come on, I get this. Whew. 
Okay. Now, how to do this stealthily? Versus my dagger. Okay. Empty hand? Good, that's what I wanted. And setting goat. Knowing goats, it then would like proceed to start gnawing on my arm or just come over. Hey, bro, 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 bro. What are you doing? Hey, bro, 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 bro. Get off me. Hey, bro, bro, bro. Cause goat okay, you know the rumor is like goats will eat anything, like you'll see them eat tin cans. That's not true at all, actually. The truth of the matter is actually Goats will not necessarily eat anything, but they will try. Damn you. Really? They will not necessarily eat anything, but they will try anything. That's the only way for me to say it. <laughs> okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. As quick as I can. We got to escape out. Still you? Here. Wait here. We'll remain on guard here. Okay. Use your best shots, but don't, don't. If you can, don't hurt anyone. Okay. Yeah, they are willing to try anything. Like, I've seen one try an electric fence. Literally, sniff the electric fence, but new <laughs> mutant. That's <laughs> free Telegram's face, like, oh, that hurt. Why did that hurt? Dang it. And then they, then he never tried it again. I've also seen it go, like, look over at one of its. Okay, it was, it was like a little bit after. It was a little while after um, they a bunch of them gave birth. So like, there were these kids that they were good size, you know, like not completely, but not completely grown yet. And one, one of the moms to another kid that wasn't its own, picked, I don't know how to describe it, used, this, used her horns to pick up that kid and lightly throw it against the fence. Babe, the kid was obviously zapped, just went and then like ran, and then ran off going, ma'am! And the other girl just kind of looked at it like, fence on! And my dad saw that, he was just like, what in the world? So you can tell that they think. They think quite intelligently. Man, are they jerks. Dude, these look like fine Brazil or Persian wove rugs. This looks like fine. I probably could have made something just as good Nordic helmets. This looks like a fine torch. That's some fine water you got there. That's a boat. <laughs> It's like, oh, look at this, oh, look at this, oh, look at this, that's a boat. I'm waiting for him to, like, double back on himself. Get a parkour and climb up there. Okay. Man, why is it so quiet? Who 
who's there? No, no. Dang it. Alright, speed up till I get back to the point where I was. Actually, wait, it's not even that far. Okay. But yeah, I'll speed it up. Alright, here we are. That was the guard that walked back. I think it's my third person awareness. Now, I probably could have skipped the danger of this guy if I just, like, pushed forward ahead longer. But I didn't, so now I gotta stick around them both. Ah. Oh. Fiddly sticks. He did double back on himself. Took him a while, but he did. Wait, he's moving down here? No, no, no. No, no, no. This is the last place I was expecting him to go. I thought it was just a, you know, go down here, you fell into the water path. Gentlemen, 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 I believe we are in the clear. Let's do this. Who's like, hmm, gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. Got to be. Is someone there? Well, I guess there goes being stealthy. Wow. Okay, so I guess I do have to confront her. Man, I wish I had Lydia now, but I didn't get her through because she was loud. Okay. I can sneak past them. Yeah, I wish I could turn wood to gold. Ultimate. Well, sorry, I got really twitchy there. Saw that coming. No, you, look, look, Rap Man. It's simple, you. See, now go kill him. Oh, you. S okay, <laughs> I'm just like, all right, all right, all right. All right, so here's the plan. Well, let's go kill them. We'll kill off these two, and then we'll go. Wow, alright. Heal, heal, heal. I didn't heal. Curses. Let's try that again. So here's my plan. I'm gonna kill those two. I'm gonna kill one of them. And then we're gonna go... And then I'm gonna go use that little secret path. So I bet it's a very secret, secret path. Did I miss them both? I think I did. Sorry, best quote ever. That goes from Fire Emblem. It's like, pick a god, pray to it now. It's like, 
Dang. I think it's a direct quote, I'm not sure. But I heard that, I was just like, oh! That's awesome! That made you sound like some kick butt hero or villain. It could be used either way. Either way, you sound like a beast when you say that. I think it was Frederick from Spider Emblem. I don't remember. I only started. I only started um the newest one. The game kicks my butt. Probably because I did it on hard difficulty. I decided to make it so that if anyone dies, they stay dead, which I admit was a mistake since there's like three people who I'm like, no, I can never let these three exact people die. Ah, I heard the movie and it's skittering. Alright. This is a terrible plan, but as far as terrible plans go, I'm usually in the middle of them. So! Screw it, I'd rather deal with people. I'd much. Ugh, even hearing them walk. Alright, so this isn't as sneaky mission anymore, apparently. Ah, man. Okay, good. Got me these specialists. What? I can personally promise that if spiders start jumping out of there, I'm going to scream. Okay, she's the powerhouse. Kill her first. Here's this. I can't advance that way. It's okay, that's what large steel crossbow bolts are for, son! Got her! Feed you to the spiders! Actually, no, that's like one of the few fates I will never subject you to. What? Come on, through the shield? Really? Alright, speed up quick, like at least two. Got him! actually weren't that bad, it was just the fact that she covered them so well. That she covered the melee specialist so well, it was just like, eh. And plus, you know, episode's getting a little long. You speed things up a little bit, you know. Yeah, so I decided not to go through the spider cave. Alright. Yeah, two people or three spiders. Spiders that can't get through their own webs, haha. -ha. Did you know, random fact, that, you know, like you always see spiders that are like climbing on their own webs. There actually are webs that are sticky and there are webs that are not sticky and they can just they can make them how they want them to be. And spiders can actually very commonly happens whenever it's windy get stuck in their own webs. They could that's also why sometimes you could touch a spider web and just be like, oh cool, and other times it's like dang it. So yeah, there is a difference, it's just it's very hard to tell, but they're very good at it. Is that a Random fact, you know. The more you know. Curses. Despite not knowing where I am, he's able to dodge. As long as I keep getting this three times damage, I will milk this. I missed. Go. Ah. I, I'm not gonna count this as, as, as speed up work. Just cause it's one guy. And I almost got him half killed. I just happened to use the wrong thing without thinking for some reason. You're so easy to snipe! Dang it, I missed. Okay, quick, quick, we gotta quickly and quietly kill him. Which I don't know how we are not doing, considering that his head is in view and I can easily stab it. But you know, reason. Someday I'm gonna find a video game like that, where like it accurately takes into account how easily one can kill another human, but also applies it to you. Because like Assassin's Creed, you can kill people like it's free. Then you got this game where like people can be barely clothed, yet they are still really hard to kill. So it goes both ways, you know? I mean, someday...
I'll find a game that fairly and accurately depicts them both. Ah. Uh, So just like, yeah, like I'm supposed to figure out which college he meant. Huh? Okay, if you do not immediately find me after I just, just after I point blanked your dog with a crossbow, you have some problems. Yeah, use the smarts, Dad Smith said. Yeah, what smarts? It's like, dude, seriously, it's like the dog walks by. Foomp, where did you go? Dude, I'm right here. You don't go to the college. So, I imagine Mr. Galume, or Gollum, or whatever he's called, is a little freaked out right now, considering the fact that, like... He was like, I thought I'd be safe here, but oh look, he's killing all of our bandits. I better first release the spiders and secondly make it so that I can get away without him noticing. And then I would sit back and go, man, did he just release the spiders and get away without me noticing? He'd be like, yes. I'm like, really? Dang it. Huh? She's fully aware of me, isn't she? Yep. Oh, don't worry, I'm just gonna shove some crossbow bolts up your nose. Up your nose. Gotcha. And now that you're in the water, I'm gonna take pot shots. Wow, she took like no time. Alright. That's the wrong one. She may have just hit her own bear trap. Like, that may have just happened. Okay, now, quick, while I'm distracting her, cut her head off. Or not, because I just pushed it off. Okay, um... There she is. Oh, it's not like I'm planting crossbow bolts into the back of your head. Gotcha! I am stealth. You did you see what you just did and you're trying to call yourself stealthy? Yeah, I know. Alright, yep, I'm going the right way. Ignore the giant purple skeleton. I don't know what just hit me, but oh, you did. You in the armor, but no shirt. Well, now he has a shirt. Okay, I'll, I forgive you. I really should put on my battle armor. I just don't feel like it. Blub, 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 blub. Underwater spider. What? Excuse me. 
So I kind of let Wrathman just off to die while I was swimming back, didn't I? I crossbow bolted your shield arm. You shouldn't be able to use that arm anymore. Injured. Man, these guys are strong. Okay, dun 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 dun. Try attack, brand. What in the world just happened? And whatever it was, that was awesome. Because all I know is like when we he just like flicked his wrist, all of a sudden I was on the ground. <laughs> On the ground, dead. Hey! Now there's no need to do anything rash. We're in the water so floating right now while my scout is killing bandits. Honestly, please, like, you'll have me killed. Let's see. Tell me first, and then I'll decide. All right, all right. It's Carlia. Her name is Carlia. Carlisle? Mercer never told you about her. No. Carlia is the thief responsible for murdering the previous guildmaster, Gallus. Hmm. And now she's after Mercer. Hmm. Help. No, no. Look, I didn't even know it was her until after she contacted me. Please, you have to believe me. Where's Carlia now? now? When I We're about to swim in the bed, it's like... Muttered, ...where the end began. Here, take the Golden Glow estate deed as proof. And when you speak to Mercer... Tell him I'm worth more to him alive. You needed to know more. Okay. Uh. Now you're speaking my language. Tell you what, if you need any stolen goods fenced, you bring them to me, and I'll pay you good money for them. Consider me your new friend in the north. Yeah, don't get your hopes up. Now you won't forget to tell Mercer I cooperated. Debatable, alright? You keep those bandits off me. How did I jump? I have no idea. Jump! Dang it, alright. Guess I'm just gonna run away now. <laughs> if I could, I'd release the spiders on. Just be like, haha! Actually, I can, but they kill me too. <laughs> so I'm not going to. <laughs> yeah, I ran too far ahead. If they were like right on my tail, I would just like light their. I'd. Run past spiderwebs, light them on fire, and then just keep running. And they'd be like, why'd you do that? Spires come out. Oh, dang! And then the spiders would hopefully eat them. Firebolt. Let's see, you're seven, so I'm gonna switch firebolt to seven. Have fun with that. It didn't burn it. You just made them really ticked off. It's like the other side opens, they all come crawling out. Karma! 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 Is a jerk! Stinking karma! <laughs> yeah, what? Yeah, yeah. Really? It's like. What? I don't even get this position, and why isn't it letting me out? I mean, it's uh, right there. Curse is fine. Thank goodness it auto saved. Someone there? Gentlemen. That was the complete Fine. wrong way. It did it again. I like us. It's like so. Let me see if I understand this correctly, my good Max. Yes, my good Gerser, Brain Joe, or whatever your name is. You're a fan. Fantastically sneaky on the entrance. You got through, nobody knew you were there. You were like a shadow. Not even. You were like a shadow on a day where you can't even really see shadows. I'm like, yes, I was. 
actually. Oh, thanks, Lydia. You actually stuck by. As you will, my friend. Come on. Protect you with my life. I'm falling. I'm falling. I'm falling. I'm falling. I'm floating. I'm floating. I'm floating. I wrote there. I go. All right, let's, let's just get out. <laughs> let's just get out. So I'm just like, you were in like a shadow, and then when you came out, you woke up every single guard, the ones on duty, the ones off duty, you woke up everyone. I'm like, yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> it's like, you flippin' idiot, what's your problem? Sorry. Y'all. Gullamai give up any information on our buyer? Yeah. Kalaya. No, it, it can't be. I haven't heard that name in decades. Okay. Brave news indeed. She's someone I hope to never cross. Is that blood on the again. bricks? I got there. It kind of looks like it is. Carlia destroyed everything this guild stood for. Mm. She murdered my predecessor in cold mm. blood and betrayed the guild. Mm. After we discovered what she'd done, we spent months trying to track her down, but she just vanished. Mm. Carlia and I were like partners. I went with her on every heist. We watched each other's backs. Ah. I know her techniques, her skills. If she kills me, there'll be no one left that could possibly catch her. If only we knew where she was. Hmm. Tell me about where the end began. One place that could where she murdered Gallus, a ruin called Snowvale Sanctum. Mm -hmm. We have to go out there before she disappears again. We? Oui. Yes, I'm going with you, and together we're going to kill her. Here's your payment for solitude. Sweet. Prepare yourself and meet me at the ruins as soon as you can. We I have no idea what your mini map. Oh. Fingers. Completed. Scoundrel's folly. Sweet. Speak to Tanya Lub. Exchange a piece of armor. Started speaking with silence. Speaking with the touch. I right, go. Cool. Um, let's go. I don't know why I need to speak with Tonila about exchanging a piece of armor, but hey, you know what? If you say I need to do it, I'll go do it quick. Get like you know, upgraded armor, hand it off to. Hand the old stuff off to her, so it'd be like, oh look. So well, looks like you're fitting in well down here. I tried I'm to. I'm supposed to allow you to trade in one of your pieces of guild armor. So what will it be? Uh. Yes. Otherwise, it wouldn't be much of a reward, now would it? Your new piece will enhance your skill beyond that of the original. Trust me. Um, I need to think about. I think it was um carrying capacity prices. Lock picking and hang on. Chain capacity, pickpocketing. Why are why are boots pickpocketing and okay whatever. Um, I want better boots then because pickpocketing right. is all I'm I care about. Of course, your new piece will enhance your skill. Uh, you got my boots. Are you sure? Once I exchange it for you, I'm not taking it back unless. Okay, there you go. I guess so. Apparel. My new thief. Oh, twenty-five percent. Cool. Welcome to the cozy little family. Well, you could always speak to. Or if you're looking for training, we've got yeah. training down here. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Yeah, whatever, whatever. You got some really nice stuff. I'm not just saying that. You got like some actually really sweet stuff. All right, so I got all these soul gems that I need to fill or get around to filling. I haven't pickpocketed anyone recently. Just why I am fresh out of stuff. Let's see. Oh yeah, I stole a bunch of this stuff. This stuff, I remember that. <laughs> I was like, um, what are all these steel daggers? Oh yeah, I remember. Because I said I'm gonna start stealing bows for no, literally no reason. <laughs> uh, there's this. There's this. And this. Why do you have this many shields? I don't know. It just kind of happened. I don't really question it. It just, it just stuff goes on, you know. 
Now, if you'll excuse me. I can't get over that. It's Vecchio, the man. He is the manliest man here. The manly man. Do you understand me, soldiers? Yes, sir. You shall from here on out refer to him as the man. Sir, I'm confused at why he is the man. Do you dare question his unavailed manliness? Unavailed? I don't think they've even... His unreputable... His unreput... No, sir, that's confused as well. You mean reputable. Yes! Don't doubt me! Um, of course, sir. We won't... We won't doubt you at all. Good! He is the manliest of men. Yes, I've understood that, sir. Alright, cool. So, we're gonna travel to... Looks like Windhelm will be fastest. And then we'll run there. Next episode. Meet the vampire. Hello. Horses. All day long. Do you, have you know, I... See, I love how he's like, do you have any idea dull ho how dull horses are? I was like, you know, there are like a bunch of girls I know who just flip out about horses. They're like, man, horses are the bomb diggity. I'm just like, whatever. They don't taste good and they're expensive. Perfect, a jumping platform. All right, so in the next episode, we're going to head out there and figure out who this Kalaya person. I feel like I can't say Kalaya. is like Kalaya. Kalaya. So we'll figure that out in the next episode. So, see you then.